Grab a cup of coffee and your iPad. Let's create a beautiful spread for the month of April. The first thing I do is draw a rough sketch on my notepad. This helps me visualize which spreads I want to create and what colors I want to incorporate. For this layout, I want to create a collage of black flowers with um, a little bit of color on top of them or behind the flowers. Um, this is a little bit of what I have in mind. This is going to be my cover page. I want kind of a couple of flowers flowing through the page. For my calendar, I want the calendar to be just lines with the dates um, on the edges. And um, I'm thinking of having the flowers float on the top, on the edges of the, on the corners of the uh, planner. And on the left uh, page, I'm going to have my calendar. Here, I think I might put reminders or notes. For the right side of the page, I'm going to put notes, quotes, goals, and key. Um, we'll see how it goes. Usually, just a quick sketch. These are the colors that I have in mind, uh, like pink, blue, and yellow. For my habit tracker, I'm going to use one of the printables that I already have on my blog. You can find this free printable on my blog. I'll leave it in the description box. I will leave the link. And for my weekly spread, I came up with two designs. These ones I want, this is going to be like two pages in the notebook. For the left side, I want a little bit one side of the weekly spread and the other page I want the rest of the weekly spread with flowers floating in between. And then the next weekly spread is going to be kind of like the word April all across the page. We'll see how it goes. And I want the month or the days of the week to float from the title. Uh, this is how it looks so far. Um, I'm going to be using Keynote. Um, it's similar to GoodNotes, the only main difference is in that in Kino you can edit the, or you can change the links on all my planners, you can change the, um, you can change the cover page, uh, you can change the titles or the words that are on the tabs, you can change the colors of the tabs, and GoodNotes you can do, the only thing you can do is um, click on the tabs, but you can edit the color of the tabs or you can edit the names of the tabs and you can change the background of the planner, like the purple cover. Um, I'll show you how I use Keynote. I feel, like, I feel like it has gone a long way since it was first released. So let's get started. I'm going to um, activate the, usually for this one it's just like scrolling and touching. If you go to the settings here, the three dots on the top and scroll down and go to Apple settings, uh, turn off, select and scroll. This will give you the option to pretty much draw on the page.
All right, so far this is what I have for the cover page of April. On this side, I kind of want to write kind of like the goals or the achievements I did for the month of March. So I'm thinking if I want to hand draw more flowers or maybe I want to create a border of flowers. Um, let's see, let me go to my collection of flowers and see if I can find a cute border to add that will match with what I have going on here. Will it be too much if I add another border here? Let's duplicate it and see. Oop, I meant to do copy. Oh well. There we go. To rotate the images, you can either go to the paintbrush setting and click here. You can do 180 and it will rotate it or with two fingers hold the image and then keep one finger on the screen and the other one use it to rotate it. want to add it horizontal this way like this or if I want to maybe create like a march going this way oh maybe I can just create a march Oops. then I'm gonna cut down and paste it on the side I'll work on that one in a second I'm going to choose a different font or maybe the same one for March. Oops. Do I want to add it here or leave it in the center? Maybe there. And make this one kind of like join with the with the edge of the line. That way it looks pretty. I don't know. I like to experiment with different things while I plan on my on the pages. That way it looks different. Alright, so this is how the cover page is starting to look. As you can see, you can pretty much do the same thing as you do in GoodNotes. Pretty much everything. I don't, I don't think you're missing out on anything if you decide to use um, Keynote for planning instead of GoodNotes. Alright, so I'm going to leave the cover page like this 
and I'm going to jump into the calendar. I like jumping between different pages of the planner. Sometimes if you feel stuck on one page, just go to the next one and you'll get ideas of what to do on the previous one. So for this one, I want flowers flowing like this. Oh, actually no. I decided that I wanted flowers maybe here and here. I wanted to show you something really cool with good notes or I mean with Keynote is that you can send um, items towards either the front or the back. You can select several items at the same time. And over here you have the option to either send them to the front or send them to the back, which is something that you don't have the option with good notes. trying to make them a little more like this like an angle so I'm gonna keep adding more until I see the um, style that I like Alright, this is how it looks. I kind of like it, kind of don't. I'll see if I change them. I'm going to start adding the calendar now. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and then here is where you select the table of contents. So just scroll to the side. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to add seven rows on the top and six rows for the bottom. Okay, I'm going to put it on this side. And I'm going to change the font really quick. Usually when you start typing on it, it gives you a generic font. Monday, Monday. So I'm going to click on it, click on the paintbrush, go to table and at the bottom, you're going to see the table font. I'm going to choose this one, Bible stories. And I think I might make either smaller or bigger. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna start filling it out. Saturday, okay. I usually um, drag the calendar to the side, that way it's easier for me to visualize dates. Just make sure you start the week on Sunday. And I have a wireless mouse connected to my iPad. It makes it so much easier. So I'm going to start typing on it. Click, show keyboard, okay. You're going to select the table, click on the paintbrush and go to format. In format, make sure to select text. Now we're going to this side, go right to the bottom, and then only this will only appear if you have a wireless mouse connected to your iPad. You're going to see this yellow dot. You're going to select it and drag it across the screen. See how the um, table automatically fills up with the dates. Pretty easy. Here I can only I just I'll change this one really quick to one. And do the same thing, just drag it to the side. And then that's it. That's how you fill out the calendar really quick. Paste, I'm gonna put it right here. If the little lines or the guidelines bother you, you can easily just turn them off by clicking the three dots on the top, guides, and then just turn them off. That way it makes it easier just to be able to place objects in a specific position. Okay, I think 
I'll leave it there just for now. And I wonder if I want to make it maybe longer and take the whole page. I'm going to send it to the back of the lines, that way I can edit it. Now I can click on these ones and make them longer so it fills up the whole page. And then I think I might put a box right here with kind of like quick reminders for the month. Um, we're gonna go down with the paintbrush, fill. I'm gonna do none, that way I can see the dots of the paper. And here you can play with this. You can either do a border, a shadow. I think I'm gonna do the shadow. Oops, style. Okay, I like that one. I'm gonna turn off the shadow actually. I don't like the way it looks. the same font as that one. Oh, actually no, I'm gonna use the font that I use on my cover page. Make sure the text is selected, we're going to... I'm going to put it on top of the box but I, so what we're going to do is fill, we're going to ask like white, that way it appears as if it's on top and you can, or if it appears like you cut the box, it's what I tried to say. Please, and I'm going to change the size of the font. Oh, maybe I'll do I'll put this one here. I'm gonna copy it, paste it right here. This one I'm gonna make as reminders, and then the next one. I'll make it as goals. some yellow on this one. That's extremely crooked. <laughs> And maybe I want to put the dates towards the bottom of Maybe instead of the notes, I can have a future log here. Let me copy this one that I have from the editable spreads.
Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. All right, this is how the calendar section of the planner looks. I think I'm going to change the cover of the planner because I don't like the way this one matches with what I'm doing. So I'm going to select all the slides, click on the paintbrush, click on background, and then change image. Let's try this one. I don't like it. Let's find a better one. Oh, I like that one. I think that one matches beautifully. It goes really well what I'm doing on with all the flowers and the pink theme. And it looks really nice too in the cover page. All right, let's try. I think for this one, I'm just gonna copy and paste the weekly spread from the Ditable Planner. I might think I'm gonna choose this one. So you're gonna select on the black side of the planner, select objects, select all, done, and click copy. Now we're going back to the planner, click on any part of the planner and click paste. The only thing I think I want to change on this spread is um, add the months or the dates in the calendar. And then I'm going to change the washi tapes. So I'm going to again go to style, fill and let's change the image to a better one. I want to change the way it looks on this one still. You're gonna click fill, see how it looks with, there we go. That looks way better, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing that I did on this one. I'm going to put calendar on this side and fill in the dates. I'm gonna use my mouse to select all of this and fill the tables. to make this one's a lighter color there we go I like the way that looks better maybe I should add um, I'm thinking if I want to add a couple of flowers or if I want to just keep it simple I think I'm just gonna keep it like that. Let's keep it simple. Let's jump to the weekly spread of next week. And this one I'm gonna add a font. I want to go from here or from the letter? Let's do from the letter. Okay, I think 
that looks good. I'm still not sure how it looks like this. What if I... Another difference between good notes and keynote is that in, in good notes when you create a straight line, it automatically kind of becomes an object, even if you create circles or any shapes that you create, they take that shape. In keynote, unfortunately, we don't have that option yet. I wish we did. But then again, I think the crooked lines look pretty. You can um, switch between drawing on the screen and using the Apple Pencil as a um, object to select by double clicking here and you will see the option being turned on or turned off, which is great. Then I'm gonna put my weekend, like my Saturday and Sunday at the bottom. I'm going to copy one of these boxes really quick. Sunday and then maybe I think I might add a calendar here let's copy this one really quick and instead of having that I'm going to book I'm going to put week two and highlight it I'm going to copy and paste the bullet points. I 
Okay. Oh, that looks really good. I think I'm going to add... Um, I think if I want to keep my weekly spreads just simple. Since I have to fill them out anyway. Maybe I'll decorate this box over right here. All right, this is the spread for the second week of April. I'm going to start working on the third one. All right, for this spread, I think I want, let's reference back to my, we did this one. I think I'm gonna try to recreate this one. So hopefully it turns out the way I have it in my mind. I'm going to just copy one of these squares really quick. And paste them. Oops. I'm gonna create this line. It's basically so I know how I want the flowers to flow through the page. And then I know that, that I want this Quickly spread stuff right around here. I'm thinking if I want to leave the line and just change the color and opacity so it just looks like it's barely in the background. I'm gonna copy the titles from the previous month and put them on top of this. But notice how the I want the title to go on top of the box as if it was like joining. So go to click on the paintbrush and go to style, fill and fill with white. That way you don't see the line in the middle of the word. 
I'm gonna repeat the same thing to the rest of the squares or rectangles actually. going to add the calendar for the month and I think I'm gonna change the background to clear that way I can see the um, yellow flower on the back so I think it looks really pretty Okay, now I have this space over here. Okay, that looks really nice there. Let me highlight the month. That way I remember which week this weekly spread belongs to. Alright, for the next weekly spread. I'm just going to copy and paste this one. I'm going to copy everything inside this calendar and just paste it on the other one. Okay, maybe title may be better. Search? No, title. There we go. That looks really pretty. Maybe, maybe no. I'll add a couple of flowers.
that's that and then for the last spread I just want to use one of my bullet journal printables and then on the last one I'm going to add my um, habit tracker now I'm so going to use a printable for that all right, this is the circle habit tracker that I'm going to use. I just want to show you a quick trick. Let's say that you want to use um, this one that starts the week on Monday instead of Sunday. So what you're going to do is drag it all the way to the top and give it a couple of seconds. It's going to appear the one on the top, click done, and then drag it into the planner. And as you can see, The one that we drag was the one on top, which is the Monday start of the week. Then I was looking, um, I think I'm going to add a, since I have a habit tracker here, I think I'm going to add this spending tracker here really quick. Might as well. Depending on the file size of the printable you're using, it might take a little bit of time for it to import into the Keynote app. Just give it a couple of seconds and it will load. All right, so I'm going to put all this information in my index. So we're going to go to the first one. I'm going to click the plus, select text. And we're going to write cover page. The reason I do it like this, it's if we write on top of, like right beside the bullet point, it creates this really large font, which is the one I use for the bullet points. I don't want that. It's just a lot easier just to create a whole new text. Cover page, what was the next one? Calendar, April calendar. The beauty about digital planning is that you can click on the hyperlink. All right, let's say I want to go to week four. There it is, week four. And then I want to go back to the index. You just have to click on this tab up here. So we're going back to the index. Thank you for joining me while I create a beautiful spread for the month of April. Don't forget that all my digital planners are editable. You can change the cover, you can change the fonts, you can change the hyperlinks, you can do anything you want. Your imagination is the only the limit. I will leave a very nice discount code in the description box. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.